it all started last year um about i think last june july um i'd always been a painter since uh, i was very young uh studied a lot of art school um i did an art foundation course uh before i went to university to study history of art and um i last year i downloaded tiktok after lots of deliberating whether to download it or not um i downloaded it and after a couple of months i saw really randomly i one day i saw a video of this really really lovely woman um called brianna who goes by Bree Marie paints um and she'd done a four edge painting of i think it was pride and prejudice and i'd seen it and i thought oh my god that's so cool and i was at home and i was kind of bored because uh, it was the summer and my exams were over um so I thought, oh, why don't I try four edge painting? And I love Tolkien. So I thought I'm going to try it with, with Tolkien. And, and I think I Googled how to four edge paint. Um, and I found one of Martin's videos and a lot of his stuff. And I started looking into that. And there's not too much on it online because it's now an endangered craft. But thank God for Martin, because otherwise I would have been going in completely blind. I'm very much the dinosaur here. I started back in 19... late 60s, early 70s. Uh, and it was a very different market in those days. <laughs> Forage painting was completely done on older books, on leather-bound, pre-gilded books. Um, and uh, that's what the majority of my work has been over the years. Uh, so what I'm seeing now over these last few years, since bl the blessed HCA came in and uh, <laughs> motivated a few of us uh, to actually come out and uh, show the world what can be done. Um, uh, it's, uh, it has changed fundamentally. Maisie, uh, I, I'm guessing you've not worked on any old books, have you? Or when I say old, I mean pre-bound, gilded, antique books. No, not really. Uh, okay. Just ones I find in the charity shop sometimes. Maybe, I think well, maybe my oldest is maybe like 1950 or something. So. Okay, okay. Well, what you're doing is you're working with with modern books, um, and uh, and that's fine. Uh, it's good. Uh, sometimes the paper is not so hot, uh, but um, what you are really doing is uh, widening the market so that the world can see these things. And I'm getting lots of inquiries. Well, I never used to get any inquiries except for my customers. It was a very niche market. Uh, now I get inquiries from everywhere and that's down to your good self and a few others as well who've uh, who've really gone out there and digitalized the knowledge before it's painting and uh god bless you for that this craft is not is not going to die out there's no chance i feel like you've you've kind of carried the craft kind of on your back for such a long time while you know while it's been on this red list and i think it's really great now that we can kind of get other people to start learning and 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 not like four edge painting that's just kind of on on the on the outer bit is it's accessible to everyone and anyone can do it but yeah, i definitely think we need to kind of push people towards the hidden one as well um which is i think that's the real tricky task because it's so, it's so technical and i tried it myself and it was so hard <laughs>